Warning, graphic pest control video ahead. Do not watch if you might be offended. If, however, you really like watching pest control videos, then hello again and welcome to the Squirrel Hunter channel. Please continue and watch us as we control pest populations with silenced air rifles here in the UK. If you have any questions, can you please check the description below first to see if it's already been answered and for some useful links. Thank you. This is part three of three and the picture is from the end of the last one. If you haven't watched the others, I would recommend you do so by clicking on the links at the top in the description below. If you have, then watch on. It's finally honed over years of practice. Here's the view from the other side. I've picked him up at the side of the feeder. It's on the tree. It's at the side of the bullet camp. It's starting to come towards the feeder. Have a quick pop down, look at the floor. Not much of a look though, eh? Where's he gone now? Let's go up the tree. It's more like it. I'm looking for him on the side or the front. Holding the crosshairs off, not even going to attempt to take a shot. Edging my bets on him coming round to feed. He's still looking. Come on, son, over this way. If you sit like that, you might get a pellet on top of your head. I'm starting to wander towards it. Start to think about it. Nah. I'm going to hold the crosshairs off again. I can get a better shot than that if I just wait a little bit longer. So tempting. Crosshairs start to drift back towards him, and then you see that head flick. We need one of them. That's more like it. Excellent. I wasted no time as soon as I saw what I wanted to see. It just flops to the floor. That's a bit of a kicker bait. I can't see his head properly now, as you can see. That's better. I can see his head now. I'm pretty sure it's done for. Just the way it flopped down. Gave the game away, really, didn't it? It wasn't long before Bro had cause to turn his camera on yet again. Another squirrel's come into view. Probably a bit surprised, if they can be surprised at all. Another large stack of squirrels on the floor. So it looks quite concerned. No tail flicks though. There's plenty of flies. The trouble this time of year. Not on the ground long before the flies turn up. Start laying eggs all over them. do think sometimes that a few squirrels on the ground is a bonus. They seem to be preoccupied with looking at them rather than looking for danger. We're quite happily filming away and watching. Let's have a good look about this one. No aggressive behaviour. It's almost like it's trying to wake the other one up. It gives up on that. It's had a good look. And belly starts to rumble. I'm lining up on it with a scope cam. Waiting to pick an opportune moment like that. It's not even quarter to eleven. Squirrel sixteen bites of dust. I'm looking at it in the scope cam, I'm trying to work out that systems are shutting down or it needs a second shot. So it appears to be moving. 
spotted twitching a bit. I do expect a few nerves. I'm pretty sure now from watching this, this squirrel dead on the first shot. No second shot required. See the body start to relax. Muscles giving up any tension. Too much brain damage and too much blood loss. First shot was the good one. And there goes the tail. And that means I'm going to have to get out and get that one off the ledge by the look of it. It's not going to kick onto the floor. Maybe I'll have the bullet cam view. If you look in this little circle, you'll see it come into view in a second or two. There it is. You see a bit of movement. Bullet cam's managed to pick that up. And about that time, I start to track it with the scope cam. I know it's on the floor somewhere. There it is. I've picked it up now. As I said before, if they sit still long enough, they'll get a pellet wherever they are. This one looks far too engaged in sniffing the ones on the floor. Crosshairs are never too far from the head. You can see I'm consciously holding them off. I accidentally squeeze the trigger. Not that my finger's on the trigger. Not yet, anyway. I'm trying to anticipate which way it's going to go. Now I've got uncomfortable. That was me fidgeting. Quite interested on a scope cam view. See in a little bit more detail. Definitely looks like he tried to wake that one up. We'll get his attention anyway. Here we go. All stations on alert. It's on the feeder. Never ceases to amaze me how quickly they can lose interest when their belly rumbles. That's all I was waiting for. Sit up, start munching. This is what I was looking at. Sometimes get a few breaths afterwards. His head's not moving. Unconscious. I can't see the head for a proper shot. I'm looking at them in the body now. Trying to get signs whether it needs a second shot or not. The only option would be a hard lung shot from here. It soon becomes apparent. That shot was good. Pretty much poleaxed that one. Didn't manage to get a little kick. It does bleed out quite a bit on there, as I'll show you later. And there goes the tail. Yeah, pretty happy with that. I'll have to get it and take that off there now. Give it a bit of a poke. Here comes another one. This one's coming in a tree for, just for a change. Step across the ground. Looks like Bro's camera is set to meet you from the centre. We do with going a little bit further left. It's sometimes difficult to spot, it's gone blurry. It's when you get old, eh? Ha! <laughs> This one's having a good old look over the side. I just decided to go the opposite side. It's still walking in the right direction though. There we are. Let's sit like that for too long. And that's what's going to happen. The angle of its head, aimed at the eye, because the pellet's going to go straight into the brain if I hit it in the eye from that angle. This one's a little bit of a mad kick about. Waved its head in a hole, belonging to the rats by the look of it. That's 
all over for that one. Here's my view of the same proceedings. Yeah, I can see it perfectly well on tracking. It's fading a bit of grain there by the look of it. It's starting to feed. I don't care it's not in the front of the feeder. I can see it's feeding. And drop it to the ground. I'm trying to pick it up now, just in case I need a second shot. Trouble with the scope camera, you have to look at the screen. So you have to look over the top to see where the rifle's pointing. It's pretty obvious that one's going nowhere. Number 17's on the ground. And Bro's family record looks under threat. We have spoke about the record. Because I'm getting close now. Bro's more than happy for me to go for it. If the opportunity arises. As he put it, these days don't come that often. You need to make the most of them when they do. Squirrel 18. Another one sits on the side of the feeder. The same result as the last one. Same shot again. That's proper toes up time for that one. Do you think the pellet must attract them into the spinal column area? Damage the nerves. Barely a movement off that one. And again, here's the bullet cam view. One with a scope cam. Let me pick him up as he comes across the top of the feeder. Straight to the side. It's more like it. It's found a bit more grain where the other one did. Just like that. Pad it goes straight through its head. It drops to the ground. See the blood dripping from its nose? Just under his arm there. Happy with that shot. Went rather well. So end of the squirrel 18. Now it's getting interesting. We said we're going to go at 12 o'clock. Can I get two more squirrels in the time allowed? Only time will tell. So it's around about half an hour now. It's the time we said we were going to go home. This potential record equaler wanders into view. Another one goes to the roof. That's a good old scratch. They are flea ridden. That's about all we've found on them so far. There has been talk about ticks being on them. Carrying Lyme disease. Some people think about rabies, but we haven't got any rabies in this country as far as I know. I am, as usual, ready to be stood corrected. If someone knows any different. I'm pretty sure we haven't, though. I did read an article with the Forestry Commission. Well, actually, it's more a report, not an article. The squirrels do more damage to trees when they're above five per hectare. Apparently they do more chewing of the trees then. Not sure why. That's what it said in the report. If I can find it again, I'll stick it in the details below so you can have a read. We've got a few more than five per square metre at the moment. So lucky they're not alive to chew the trees, eh? Squirrel 19 doesn't seem to want to settle. Then again, I can hardly blame it. Very still that, very tempting. And all of a sudden, head movement. You can get to read their body language after a while of watching them. He's hanging his head right down now. 
Looks like he's going to go down to the ground. Nope, thinks better of it. But he still stood still. Easy peasy. Just before half past eleven. The record is equaled. And believe it or not, Bro looks happier than I am. That's just the type of guy he is. Anyway, this one's not doing an awful lot more than I would expect. Chaotic nerve activity. Back legs kick in. Front end all floppy. From a pellet to the top of the head. Bro usually spots all the squirrels coming from the right through my opening. Gives me pre-warning. They're on their way. I start the recording devices. You can see the bullet cams pick this one up coming in. So he's head over the top of the tin there. I've already got my scope cam on. So my recording device is already going before it's really got to the feeder. I've picked it up and I'm tracking. The flea action there. So it seems quite a purposeful squirrel. Straight down onto the feeder. Not got too much of a care for the ones on the floor. Obviously, a good sniff. Must be loads of squirrel scent on that feeder by now. Suddenly starts to take more of an interest in the ground. The head's bobbing about. I'm still expecting him to sit and feed at that point. Let him know he's gone past. I'm still watching it. The head's flicking around quite a lot there. Borderline agitation, that looks like to me. Tempting. You can see I'm thinking about it. Yeah, head movements. So back off of the crosshairs. Seems to have settled to stare at them squirrels. Makes me wonder whether there's a buck or two in there he's had a fight with before. He's staring at them intently in case it's a trap. Seems to be holding that position longer and longer. And the head movements have quietened down. It's having a good old look now. It's very tempting. I thought for a second there it was going down. Now it's just frozen on the side. Top of the head. Jobs are good enough. And the blood just gushes out of it. Lots of damage by them pellets. And he joins his comrades on the ground. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Record equal in 19th squirrel. Like I said before, the bee was talking about going at 12, regardless of what happened. It's getting very close now. I've almost a half an hour wait since the last squirrel. Bro jabs me in the ribs, draw my attention to the fact that another squirrel's coming in from the right. It's quite close to the hide, you could be able to tell there. And that's the opening in front of me, Bro's looking through. It's got the camera turned right the way round. disappeared again. He's craning his neck over the top of his camera. He's still nodding to me, still there. So I can't see it at this point in time. It's going to go away his reaction. He's having a bit of a faff about. Now it's making a beeline for the feeder. That was a bit of a panic attack when it sees that pile of squirrels. We're not moving. I'm starting to wonder whether it's going to run away now. It's that pretty still, and it sprints forward. Could have been a tempt of that. Disappeared from view. Bro's looking for it over the top of the camera now. He spotted it, flicks the camera around to where it is. It's going to 
over the top of the feeder, maybe to avoid the bodies on the floor possibly, who knows. Just having a good look. But again, the belly rumbling, causing it to get closer and closer to the feeder. I thought it was going to disappear down the back of the tree for a second. But it's turned round. It's heading back. Looks like it is hungry after all. They just hate indecisive squirrels. Sharp claws make an easy work of that climbing job. Perfectly evolved to the woodland habitat. Come on, son, I know you're hungry. Still a bit nervous. Quite frustrating, considering that squirrel 20. I said before, patience is a virtue when doing this sort of thing, irrespective of any record that might be on the card. You're still going to follow the same process. It's quite still there, but I'm pretty sure it's going to take some food. There we are, and I'm tracking it. And shot to the top of the head. And that is the exact time. See its left eye is bulged with the pressure of the pellet going into the brain most likely tracked down into the body causing all sorts of other damage it still manages to kick a bit as I track it just to make sure I do believe that even if we hadn't got this squirrel come in just before midday Bro would have said let's stop another error just see if we could pick up one to break the record it's the kind of guy he is here we have it from the other view Scope cam and bullet cam together. You see me tracking on the floor. It's very tempting. It's just a bit of focus there. As the scope is focused to the feeder. Disappeared off right to the right. So I'm a bit of a mess about. Now I've clocked it. I'm hastily trying to track it. There we go. On the top of the feeder. It's a straight on shot. No way was it sitting still. If I'd have frozen that position, that would have been ideal. I've come up with some other ideas to get them to sit looking like that. This is the point I thought he might be going away. I still didn't try to shoot him, keeping the crosshairs off all the time. Just tracking for now. It's flitting around from side to side, but it is moving towards the feeder. Well, it's moving towards the hopper really, not the feeder, it's on the feeder. Before anyone says anything. Well, I know the last one would be the one that bounced around the most. Will you sit still? Still not trying to take the shot until I think it's settled. You can see a few pellet dents in the metalwork. They weren't misses, by the way. All of them. The pellets had gone straight through a squirrel's head at some point, or some other vermin that was silly enough to sit on that feeder. Go on, son, take a mouthful. That's more like it. Straight for the shot. I'll quickly reload. It's already dropped to the ground. Where is he? There he is. A clear review of his head now. Where the pellets did the damage. My body shuts down. 
and that'll be squirrel 20 on the ground. Congratulations from Bro there. That's the end of our session. So there's the hide. We've packed up now. Time to have a look at the body count. From 6.40 to 11.58. Five hours and 18 minutes of shooting. 20 squirrels on the ground. One of them in the road. That's when I dropped off the back of the tree. I'm happy with that. There we go. For no other reason but Robin. That was one. It's a bit of a shot bro took. Nice collection of 20 squirrels. And there it is with my lovely rapid. And a fitting rifle to break the record with. I hope you'll agree. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share. Thank you.